Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo Channel. My name is Pascal. I recently just done my first marathon and uh, as I was telling you in my last video that I was going to attempt to do it. Uh, I only started running 14 months ago and uh, I'd done a couple of half marathons over in the last previous six months but I completed it two weeks ago and I got my uh, nice medal for uh, for the Ormoc City Marathon. I planned out what I was going to do because I'm 62 years old. My main goal was to finish it. It's one of the most difficult marathons here in the Philippines and uh, most people uh, avoid it because of all the hills on the end but there was 118 full marathon runners and I came 54th. So I brought my GUI but I brought electrolytes as well and these are very very strong electrolytes this one so uh, I'd use these near the end but they also they, they don't just they're not just electrolytes they have carbohydrates in them as well they, they have 45 calories so 12 grams of carbohydrates in them which is equivalent to half a uh, for instance a goy gel is 22 so it's more than half of one of them as regards sugar but regarding sodium these have a huge amount of sodium in them these have 500 uh, milligrams of sodium in them so you're talking about like a Gatorade will have 135 in a, in, 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 a, in, a, in a small bottle of it so it's three times of a Gatorade and so there is a lot of salts that's why I kept them for near the end of the race I took two of them all together I, I took one of them at about 28 kilometers and another one of them at 30 about 36 and that was in between when I was taking the gel so I was uh, I had plenty of sugar in I had plenty of carbohydrates and I had enough salt because it was starting to get really really hot it was uh, 30 degrees it was 30 degrees Celsius at the end of the race so they're 45 calories there's no fat in them of course their sodium is 500 uh, milligrams uh, and the carbohydrates is 12 uh, grams and there is other there is potassium 8% vitamin C 62 niacin uh, uh, 19.3 there's vitamin B6 there's vitamin B12 and there's pantohentic acid I don't know what that is. So I'm going to show you how we, we mix these. I was carrying these ones with me. It's, I did not bring a bladder because there was water stations everywhere. So I kept two of these just on my belt. And I filled one up and I put this one in. I would advise you to put this in before you put the water in uh, or else only half fill it with water because when you're running you may spill it. So I popped it into this when it was only a tiny bit of water in it and then I poured the water into it. But you can still get, manage to get it into it. It's just that uh, when you're running and you're going up and down uh, I opened the top of this and I poured this and I just pushed this down into it and shook it all out of it and then poured the water in at the next water station and uh, then I had my uh, and then I had my drink it is tastes very very strong compared to splits or, or something like that but I'm going to put one into a glass this flavor I got is called tropical punch and it's uh, it's very uh, it's very easy. These are easy to tear off now when you're running and they don't take up as much room, that much room. So uh, you can pour, I'd like, as I said, I, this is filtered water here. They recommend you use 16 ounces of water and I pour this in here like this. Now because, uh, because I'm not running now and I don't have it in it, I'm not able to shake it in the glass, I'll just give it a stir. It mixes up in seconds, but it's this cloudy color, there's no... Uh, there's no added color obviously to it so maybe it, it, it sound now when you t drink this at first you know that it's strong ah yeah so I wouldn't be drinking this in, on a normal day unless I was running and uh, maybe if you were if you were uh, working really really hard or something like that and you were doing a lot of sweating then I definitely would uh, have one of them but uh, they are more of a they're almost as I say they're equivalent to a half a gel but with much more salt in them so uh, 
If you're using these, you don't need uh, you don't need to get extra e electrolytes. Probably one of these will do most people for the race near the end of your race. Uh, it's not just an electrolyte, as I said. Uh, it's not just a very strong electrolyte. It has all the vitamins in it, and it has uh, over 45 calories in it. A typical goy. Uh, would have 100 calories in it so it's about equivalent to a half a gel but with all the extra salt i'll put a link in the description where i bought these i bought them on amazon i bought them uh, the week before the race and uh, i've used a few uh, the, the week before i used one while i was training thank you very much for watching and if you like this video or any of our other videos uh, please subscribe